In this problem, it says you need a 75% alcohol solution, okay? So in my very rudimentary sketch here, I have the right side of my equal sign uh, uh, labeled as need. And so I would put 75% or 0.75 in front of that box on the right side of the equals to indicate that I'm going to be multiplying 0.75 times some amount of the actual mixture. Um, so this is my needed mixture, basically the goal of the whole problem. Then it says on hand, so what we have is going to go on the left side. We have 25 milliliters of 10% alcohol mixture. So that means I can put a 0 0.10 in front of one of my boxes on the have side for 10% times 25 milliliters. Okay. And then I also have 80% alcohol mixture. But here it does not tell me the number of milliliters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 0.8 for 80%, that's going to be multiplied times this unknown amount of milliliters. We'll call that um, unknown amount x. So now we have an equation 0 0.10% as a decimal. So 0 0.10 times 25 plus 0.8 times x and then 0.75 times whatever the amount of milliliters would be in our resulting mixture. Well, we don't know how much that's going to be because we don't know how much of the 80% mixture we have. But what we do know is that the number of milliliters of the 10% solution combined with the unknown milliliters of the 80% solution will combine to give me 25 plus x milliliters, right? So that's how you want to set it up. Um, then you can multiply through by 100 to get rid of the decimal places, which really you can save a step and just use 10 times 25 plus 80 times x equals 75 times 25 plus x. This is going to, you know, be equivalent to starting out with the decimal points. I just like to show it with the decimal points because technically whenever you're doing percentages in a math problem, you should turn those into decimals like that, really. But if you multiplied everything on both sides of the equal sign by 100, you would get this equivalent version of that. Uh, now we're going to go... Uh, distribute. We're going to simplify the right-hand side so that we get 75 times 25 and then 75x. Okay, so all I'm doing is the distribution of multiplication, 75 times 25 and then 75 times positive x, right? Um, and then you can simplify the left side as well. I don't know why I started on the right, um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, 10 times 25 would give me 250 from right here. And then the 80 times x would just be 80x. And you continue simplifying. So I'm not sure what 75 times 25 is. It's probably a pretty big number. Um, in Excel, I can do it like this. Of course, um, you will not be allowed to use Excel on your test. For algebra, most likely, um, you should have a scientific calculator. And so you can just multiply 75 times 25. So that gives me 1,875. Okay, so just simplifying further and further. I'll use a different color for this line. Oh, shoot, I forgot what the number was. 75 times 25, 1875. Okay, so 1,875 plus 75x, okay, just simplifying here. Um, then bring down the 250 and the 80x. There's nothing to simplify here. Um, now you can combine like terms. So to combine like terms, um, I need to, well, first of all, there are no like terms 
on each side of the equal sign right now. So what I will do is I will bring all the x's to one side and all the non-x terms, the constant terms, to the opposite side. So I'm going to subtract 75x from both sides, keep everything balanced with an equation, and then I will also go in and subtract 250 from each side so that it cancels out on the left, then combining like terms in the next line. Um, 80 minus 75 would give me 5x. And then what is this going to be? Um, 5 to 16. Okay, now we get to divide both sides by 5 to solve for x. So that cancels to 1x on the left. And what do we get on the right? Three hundred and twenty-five, which is the answer of how much the resulting, or I'm sorry, how much of the eighty percent so solution we were going to need to mix in with the ten percent solution to achieve a seventy-five percent alcohol solution. Now, um, I did add this as a detailed solution, uh, depending on the settings of the assignment. This may not be available. For instance, if it's on a test or a practice test, but if it's in a GLA, a guided learning assignment, a homework type uh, assignment, or for perhaps a question bank type of assignment, you should be able to see this show detailed solution button. Uh, I believe I have it set to show after your last attempt on the question. So if you're having trouble with it, you should be able to see the solution written out with your exact numbers for that problem, and then you can try it again with um, by regenerating a new problem so that you can try to get the credit for it. So uh, I hope that was helpful.